Tesla solar roof. If you ask me, Tesla solar roof is the best product Tesla is making uh, in the context of advancing the green energy, right? This is something that is huge. It's generating energy with your with your roof, essentially. Now you can say, Alex, well, you know, we have solar panels for a while. Well, solar panels are great, great first step, but it's essentially putting a Band-Aid on the problem, like literally, right? Because the problem with those uh, uh, with those is that, you know, they go on top of your roof and uh, when you have to change your roof, you have to yank the panels out and put the new roof in and then put the uh, solar panels back on. Uh, and it's it's it obviously adds to the cost and to the complexity of that. So that's not the answer. The solar roof is the answer. And um, there are some updates to it. Obviously, during the whole shareholder meeting, uh, uh, Elon gave us some updates. Uh, but there's also um, some interesting pictures are coming out uh, through electric. So let's talk um, uh, about this. I'll give you an update uh, because I can't wait for this to actually be on sale nationwide and actually starting seeing them on my neighbor's roofs and in and, and, and large amounts, just like I see uh, solar panels. All right, let's talk about it right now. Welcome to e for electric your number one source of unbiased electric car news If this is your first time here go ahead and click on that subscribe button and then also the bell notification icon If you are a subscriber don't forget to click on the bell notification icon And of course, thank you to one of my newer patrons John and Michelle Thank you so much for becoming patrons the only place where you can watch me live and thank you for supporting my independent channel You can go to patreon.com slash E for electric to do the same. All right, so Tesla solar roof has been uh, uh, around for a while. They've announced it in 2016. So this has been um, three years pretty much. Uh, and I got really excited. And you, as you guys know that I, I've been a big supporter of uh, Tesla acquiring uh, Solar City because, you know, th that made Tesla gave them at least the potential of being not just a car company, but really energy company, right? The bigger goal is to advance the entire um, green energy movement. And, you know, electric cars is a great step, but generating your own energy, being independent of the, you know, oil companies and the electric companies, utility companies, that is a real step uh, in a real, real uh, uh, energy independence direction. So that's why I think this product was just so excited. As you know, uh, Tesla has a Gigafactory in Buffalo, uh, Gigafactory 2. That's where they are making their uh, solar products. Um, and when I say they, um, obviously they have a contract with Panasonic. I just did a video about that. Um, Panasonic, unfortunately, um, has selling most of the solar cell components to the distributors, distributors outside of the U.S. that end up as actually in the, in, in the hands of Tesla competitors. So Tesla Gigafactory is making products that are essentially competing with Tesla. I don't like that. Obviously, I'm sure Tesla doesn't like them, uh, doesn't like that. But they just weren't able to ramp up their uh, solar game. And during the uh, shareholder meeting, as you know, uh, Elon mentioned that they are now on version three which is kind of like, wait a second, you have like seven of them installed around the world <laughs> and you're in version three. Now, it's great that they're making sort of progress there, but uh, now another thing that he said is basically it's going to be much, much cheaper. So it's actually going to be, uh, um, they're saying around $22 per uh, square foot. I also don't know because, you know, some tiles are solar tiles, some, some tiles are uh, regular tiles. I don't know, it's the average or just for the solar tiles. And then if so, you know, it it, it matters how many you need, how many you're housing it. So that number is always very blurry. I know the shingle uh, um, uh, roof sometimes costs just like, no, sometimes most of the time costs just a few bucks per square foot. But Elon is saying that, you know, basically it's just the cost of the regular roof plus the cost of your energy bill. I don't like when he gives numbers like that because, you know, different areas, different prices for the roofs, for the electricity, especially nowadays. So, but, uh, you know, it is definitely a premium product. So uh, if they can ever get there to the like a regular price where it's going to be the same, it's great. It's just they're not going to be there, um, I think, anytime soon. Um, so um, I'm looking at my notes here because there are quite a few things he's talked about and I took notes. Um, and uh, it's it's oh installing in eight states, which is kind of a big deal. That means there's like at least eight installations that they're working on, um, but they're much slower. As we know, it's anywhere between two to three weeks to install it. 
regular roof takes about two or three days to install it again depending on your construction company that you hire and so forth so it is um it, it's a struggle it does look like they're moving forward with it but it just doesn't seem like it's fast enough now um as you remember i did a report i was the first one to cover and show you guys the very first uh house of a regular residential house um that um that had it installed I did the video right after that and then we did a video about uh, some of the specs and some of the numbers that he was getting so I'll show you that video real quick right now of course a quick reminder that this video and this channel is sponsored by Byton uh, check out their all new uh, m the all electric SUV starting at $45,000 coming to the US and Europe next year but check out how fast it is it takes to actually make a reservation probably because there is no down payment page it takes zero dollars as you can see about 60 seconds uh, of your time so go to the description of this video and reserve yours today okay so um as you remember i did this video um a while uh, back this is a house in san jose and uh, you know obviously they were starting uh, from uh, roofs that have a very simple configuration if you if you see the uh, my my drone footage um that it's very simple just basically nothing but just kind of flat surface and uh pretty cool i mean it's obviously it's a little dirty when uh, when i already got there but overall it just looks really shiny it kind of looks like uh any other roof that's just really nice and slick now electric also just published an article saying um they got a hold of a few pictures that have been sent sent out i guess to some, some potential clients or current clients uh where they are showcasing their v3 um shingles and they look kind of slick as well i gotta tell you i'm i'm okay with both uh but what's also happening is i guess they're uh, trying to match all of the other things that are on your roof like the roof that are events and other things this this is a picture of one of them so they're kind of bringing in their own to match the aesthetics which i think is pretty cool on another hand you know they usually are either black and white so you know but this is this i'm assuming that's for an extra cost also uh but at the same time the, it does look like they have uh, they have been moving forward with it. All right, so here are my thoughts. Um, definitely, this is a huge, huge step forward for Tesla, but it needs to actually be made because it's been a while since they've um, unveiled it um and it the production needs to be ramped up there is no excuse not to Elon said, well, you know we're really been trying to test it. um you know it's really hard to kind of test how the roof is going to do over the 30 years but you know there are technologies a lot of times i feel like they get into something like even car manufactured and then they find out how to do it and then they you know that that's why you know it delays them now obviously that's how you innovate right you can't just get everything right up front uh, but this is one of those things that uh, they've obviously jumped in a little too early um but again if tesla can ramp this up if they can actually get this produced um you know before panasonic who quits hopefully they're not um they can really rule the world with this and change the world if you will they don't want to rule the world so, you know they obviously want to change the world more than electric cars more than anything else i think this is a big deal what's a big deal also is our vip list where we do uh, bonus stories uh, there's a really cool one coming on this saturday so don't forget to sign up on our uh, for our list e4electric.com slash vip that link is also in the description of this video let me know in the comment section are you a potential client for tesla solar roof do you think it's too expensive uh not expensive enough uh would you be a customer uh, let me know i will uh look I'm, I'm definitely looking forward to all of my comments other than that see you next time and remember to stay charged Thank <laughs> you.